time a different squad lead. <laughs> All right, guys, give me calm. Um, this is a relatively new region in the front. Not a single side here has uh, engaged each other in the past conflict. So both, um, both the Russian and Americans, us, are probing into the area. See, uh, into where we're going to be be setting up, which places are the key locations. And to do so, Company Command is going to have uh, some uh, aerial recon and uh, going to provide us with uh, a few locations to patrol. Uh, we know very little of the enemy and we know very little of their location. Now, to do that, um, we're going to be moving out of our main in a platoon line with Wolfgang on the right flank, Alpha on the left flank, Scrooby on the center left, and Eduken on the center right. We'll be moving on this location right here, Wrong. on this location right here, um, securing the town and waiting for further orders from company command. Um, ideally, Wolfgang on the right flank will secure the right, Alpha will do some on the left, Edukin pushes in with his squad, clears the buildings, and Scooby hangs back in reserve, ready for either suppressive fire or QF. That's pretty straightforward and there's not that much more for subtlety. Any questions? So this is all we know right now, basically. Our team yes. setting the other, uh, the fire team, uh, you know, bounding across the road, or you may be bounding forward in fire teams. Uh, it just depends on the terrain. Uh, it also, it could be one fire team set and putting putting down suppressive fire, while the other fire team is maneuvering on the contact or a full squad. So that's what it's all about tonight. So. Even though it may seem lame to some of you to move in formations, they're, they're useful, especially when we don't know where the other force is going to come in contact with us. It could end up on our right flank, our left flank, behind us, in front of us, or nowhere. So we won't know. So that's why we need to make sure everybody's looking 360 degrees and um, keeping security all the way around. That's basic gist of the mission. We won't know the points, so the squad leaders will drop it down to you once they find out. Our first patrol point is over in India 9-8. I'm going to mark that right now. And then after that, it's whatever the next order is, so I don't know. So we got a, we got a good, what, four, 1,200 meters to go, almost a kilometer walk. So just keep your eyes open and uh, just pay attention to your squad leaders and fire team leads and watch yourselves in formation. All right, cool. Any questions? Yeah, did Phoenix chew up to this, and is he watching in the sky? I don't think so, but... It feels like a slot course, right? This is fun. It's good. All right, so I'm gonna let your squad leaders. Break All right, you guys are free to chill. Break it out. Waiting, briefing, yeah. Company commands. Uh, two squads over here with Alpha Guido, and I believe, and there we are. We're live with round one of Operation Cobweb. We're gonna be following here with Alpha Guido. See what kind of trouble he can get into. Hopefully we'll be getting those red map markers up here shortly. See where the Russian forces are coming from. Don't bunch together. I do can Sugar. That's a name I haven't seen in an op in a little bit. You have plenty of in the center. Spread out in the center. Yeah, I'll just watch north of Chanka. Wherever you want. Charlie three is on the left side of the road. Charlie four is on the right side. I get west. Yeah, I'm sixty. Watching Nashville. Hey Chanka, you're an audio Let's file. Let's get now. No. What? A, an audio file. A what a file? To be honest, uh, I remember the west from the basic. Hey Daniel, remember you're uh, four with me, okay? So stick on the right side. Okay, FYI, guys, the password has changed. If you crash, refer to Snapchat. We've been saying that since we started. Right. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I even made it non party specific. Imagine they let's get Peter, in. Going what, it starts making my sock, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Just put some tape on it, man. And they're 
they're just they're slowly moving to this actually kind of doesn't look like uh he's taking any care see some of the squad leaders got their binox out looking uh at least they're not leading from the front over here on the uh east side with iduken squad still got one down there in the southern either more east uh this is oh i don't know whose squad this is no squad leader in it see boogie wolf uh maybe it's wolfgang no wolfgang yeah wolfgang squad there he is now he's now he's moving into his the uh, uh, squad yet. lead yeah we're going around the uh the far right side of the uh or the left side of the clearing so we're good yep all right as soon as wolfgang is set you're good to push in there you can Copy. wait Copy. wait for wolfgang to be set We are almost there. See, UAV command has come up on the map. That phrase always grossed me out. Not seeing any Russian forces. Oh, nope. Starting to see them. Out here on the Bravo west side, the we're moving towards on me. Yeah, we got the uh, down. the out. town I'm west of Beneshell. Push again. They don't seem to be spreading out as much as the American forces are. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're definitely they're some bunching up, but uh. I mean, right now, it, it, no one, general. no one's seeing anything. No one's called out any, any, uh, any enemies. See that assault and lima bean and Garrett taking up in his hedge grove right, right here on this cornfield, wheat field, and they're uh, checking this town first before they move in. Pretty good idea. You don't want to just walk into a town knowing that you're getting closer to U.S. Maine. U.S. could have pushed out by here from a vehicle, and they just didn't know about it. Push in, Scrooby. Uh, secure the the gap between uh, Alpha and uh, They're roughly yeah. about 350 meters away right, from each other, so we'll probably be getting uh, right some contact here shortly. North two. Um, slightly north of the road, Wolfgang. Yeah, it looks like U.S. Forces Squad 4 and Russian Forces Squad 1 are going to be running into each other here very quickly. Command, this is 3. Go ahead, 3. Command, we have uh, open terrain to our direct east here. Uh, I'm going to... Bound my next fire team up, but we followed a little bit and behind position. The U uh, U.S. forces have been told that since they got their new one, they need to go to India 7 8. So they're going to be going up north. Uh, this, if uh, four doesn't spot this Russian forces here oh, shortly, yeah, it yeah, means yeah. they're going to probably end up one. coming up right behind them. Uh, they're gonna be hard pressed. There's a lot of yeah. foliage between them and and the uh, Americans. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of foliage Alpha, you're gonna be in between to west. the U.S. forces and the Russian Checking forces now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four is still pushing across it's the road towards, towards, towards the Russian forces, the so we might have a uh, engagement here coming very across the road. Um, they the should forest. be able to see them. The see them now. Copy, we're oh, the Russian forces are moving Henry, north too Henry, now, so they Henry, might just. Riser's about to run into them. Yeah, perfect. move out now. Just head north. Oh yeah, Clay J. You're staying on this side of the Oh man. Hundred meters. Clay J goes down. Razor saved by his teammate. Scrooby, you're moving north of the crossroad. Aduken, you're moving. Assault goes down too. To the second crossroads. Wolfgang, you're moving straight to the river. Uh oh. The river west. Bottom in the middle, about to get Perfect. nated. India 7 4. India 7 4, yes. Okay. 
Oh, Nate missed him. How? Can you hold him, Alpha? Or can you pull no. back? Negative, we're pulling back. We ran, I'm not sure the element we ran into, but I'm any chances here. Yep, pull back behind the road, set up behind the road. Bottom in the middle, putting down some cover fire, trying what? to keep their enemy heads down. If that's what they're looking for. And it looks like we got a Russian force that is moving even further south to push further onto the east side, maybe catch them off guard. We're sitting here with Digit, and it looks like Young Savage. I don't know if they see these Russian forces or U.S. forces in front of them, but they're going to move up, possibly getting in behind the entire U.S. force. That's not going to be good. Reinforcements. North and we're sitting at three we're kills gonna, for the U.S. Army the and only two the, for the uh, Russian force. I'm thinking that this might change real quickly with the Russian forces sweeping. Roger, I'll watch the road. I Bravo. mean, there's only a squad that is on the eastern or the western flank of the U.S. forces. The rest of the platoon is coming up down the south. We've just lost bottom in the middle down here. Guido's squad's getting cut. Keep your eyes to the north northeast because might be crossing He's getting even closer. I hope he doesn't peek on this road and get caught in the middle of the road or on the side. We got two platoons for the U.S. forces up near the bridge at this point in time. Russia is across the road now. Moving to their south. Move now, Four U.S. forces are withdrawing to the north, while the Russian forces look like they're going to try to sweep behind. Copy. We're going to set up between two and three. That was a quick, nice little engagement. I think your prediction was right. Yeah, it's going to be a fast and hard-fought game, isn't it? Okay. Oh yeah, when when no one knows where anybody is, and then all of a sudden everyone's on top of each other, it it's it's just gonna it's just gonna be quick. It's gonna be little pocket charges. Charlie Forest moving. Yeah, Adikin out here. He's looking, make sure there's no one occupying some of these buildings. He sent off a fire team to clear out this church. Jenny, we're still gonna go right of ref here. Good news is that they're not going to find anyone inside of this church. Let's still clear it. Ten second hold. All right, threes go. Threes continue. Okay, uh, new destination. Copy that, brother. All right, guys, let's go north. Seems like the Russian forces are going to just sit down here and hold this southern edge. Watching towards the east to make sure that there's no more U.S. forces coming out of U.S. Maine since they are so close to the U.S. Maine. Probably hold a platoon here or a squad here while they get the rest of the platoon online and start pushing them north. Awesome. Their distribution's pretty good for a defense against where the American forces are right now. So I think they have a pretty good idea where we are. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely want, if you if you're, you get put into a defensive position, you definitely want to have your guys spread out. You don't want, oh, yeah. you want to keep that de that defensive posture. You don't want to automatically go into an assaultive posture, you know, have, because that's how you get caught from behind and, you know, your flanks get exposed. So the more spread out you are, the less chance your flanks are going to get exposed and taken over. And it looks like the U.S. forces are going to be clearing this bridge, and then they'll be getting their third one. Command this four. Go ahead, four. Where do you want us going from this position? I have my guys east across the road looking east at this time. Oh, that footbridge. There we go. Ah. Let's move up. Didn't even know that was there. Is that on the map? The yeah, before. just barely on the map. Just slow. Understood. Four, hold your position and I'll swing around you to the your eastern flank. Paper. Alright, 
U.S. contact from UAV is in Hotel 73 at the Y. So the U.S. forces have been spotted by a UAV by Russian command. Command, this is company. And it looks like the Russian forces have a small element moving uh, up the north up through the wheat. The stats here patrol where you get a uh, position. Uh, Sergeant Jackson's yeah, squad. We're approaching India 9-8. Moving north and northeast. Copy that. Let's get it rolling. I'm wondering if the Russians are going to use this as a Command, diversionary tactic. we have tactic. contacts in H897. Possibly could, you man. the uh, it, houses up here to our not, northeast. It's yeah, not odd that. for the UAV just able saw to use a faint intersection. and uh, attack some like they're moving his from larger the force from another position. Grid area where we're headed towards northwest. Two, can you set up like Ooh. in uh, the berms there and, and, and I watch that field to the north? Sergeant Jackson's squad has been uh, uh, called out the other squads. because they yeah, are on the western ahead, side of the U.S. Uh, fort. In with two. They're Alpha, told they can't engage. The they're told to move out towards the north. Copy. We're going to keep it a bit further back than that. Someone must have been standing yep. up when they got out of the wheat field and... Uh, Cast Gave themselves them away. across the back. To, yeah, they skylined. Sometimes it can't be helped. Yeah, sometimes it can't be helped, but you can you can fight against it, even if it is a little bit longer of a road that you actually have to. Because they're they only have two platoons here on their uh, their west side, and then they have the rest of the platoon, or actually the the whole yeah the platoon. Here down on the southern, all they really have to do is just push north. Go ahead, command. Uh, uh, status update, how much contact? I'm thinking the American forces are pretty much um, thinking the Russians are west of them. They are not setting themselves up like they have anyone coming from the rear. Or even from the uh, southern direction. This time I would like you to proceed to Gulf. And uh, establish a uh, defensive position at Golf A3. Okay. No, oh, I could be wrong on that. Golf A3. Acknowledge, uh, command. Oh, and here it comes. The U.S. forces are going to Golf A3, right, uh, my just north to of push, uh, Russian the command. So we contact. They have been charged okay, so with we, we can do this. basically have... taking Scrooby this uh, this Think, wheat uh, field road, that you can see right up. above. You're for the squad road. five which is command uh, for the okay. russian forces follow the river still. so the u.s forces the have river. got to push through a wheat field uh, it looks like a some brush and then another wheat field and all they really you got in between them and the Bridge russian Bridge command from the west. is a head southwest along the road oh Hotel russian eight. command has been called out on Hotel the side eight. of the road moving Ooh, that's they're not gonna good. engage South and longer Alpha Scooby. Who's calling them out right now? Looks like a Bartok warrior might be getting the shot. Uh, we got contact H726. H726. Dorf moving up closer to the U.S. forces on the other side of the road. All right, copy that. Squad two and one, try to move towards that contact report and uh, put fire on. Command, I'm about to open up on to our north. We got a uh, contact in a blue second story blue building 300 meters to the north in the village. Copy that. Go ahead and open. And the Russian forces, they've been, or I'm sorry, the U.S. forces have been right, spotted by the Russian contact. forces. And here we go. They're starting to unload. U.S. forces are moving in on uh, Dwarf. Running north east, north east, Bravo, north east of the yep, They're just trading fire right now. I was Visual. on Lima Bean. He was yep. putting uh, down got some... contact northwest and northeast of us. Running they away. have an eye on them. Spread out, Bravo. Bravo, you're on top of each other. Your squad out. is now taking fire from the U.S. forces. It looks like Frenzy. He has got a lock on Oscar, Mike, and I do can 
building that they're in and he is just there all just lighting that building up i believe these buildings do have can penetrate these bullets can penetrate that wood and damage people inside of it so they got to be careful staying up in those second stories You don't, you don't need to fall back that far. Just find yourself a good tree. Losing quite a few men over here on the U.S. side. They're smoking up. Yeah, yeah. we're sitting even, uh, yeah, yeah, U.S. has got five kills and Russian forces have got four. Yeah. Frenzy yeah, goes down. Yeah. Back, back. Only in sled be there. Three, this is four. Contact right to my They are right on top of some U.S. forces. They, they're <laughs> sled be is hiding behind a downed tree, hoping not to get. U.S. has been careful. They're about to get sidelined from the southeast by the Russian forces coming from the town. <laughs> and, and, the, and the U.S. are kind of, they're doing a nice little flank over here to the uh, northwest. Looks like they're going to wrap around, might possibly wrap around the entire field and try to take down where uh, X Just hold on long enough for three to engage these guys. They're getting online. They're going to do a three, south. This is four. They're still on my side of the road. And they're still in, the, in between the Y. Keep pulling back, Alpha. Just keep taking it back. Nice and slow. This is in a good position. Silence is for going back near Charlie. We'll get you. And yeah, this is Wolfgang's squad. They're going to be pushing. They're going to be pushing down through the fields. Hitting towards the Russians. This could be a really nice. Uh, Nice little flank. <laughs> and there's people in between them. I do can he's moving his squad in between Wolfgang's squad and the Russian forces. They might be the first ones to go to it. Got a liberal punnet, Oscar, Mike, and Fred and Rick. No, I need you positioning um south of uh Edukin. But pick up the pace right now, pick up the pace. It'll, it'll be through an open field, is that fine? Um, if you think you can make, yes, but I don't His forces over here on the south, southeast are falling back through. heavily. Okay. There's a lot of concealment here. Yeah, command, I'm down to just a fire team now. Uh, we're gonna go wide. They yeah, uh, about got pinched. Two and one in. This fucking force yeah, I'm thinking gonna that go. Duke, and he's gonna, he's gonna be getting on top of these guys here shortly. I mean, he's only, like... 200 yards away from him he's sending up one man raft riffs might be the guinea pig getting closer and closer he's just got an open road in front of him he's a fire team lead so he does have the binox he's gonna get He's going to try to get some type of picture. He's not going to get much other than the hedge grove across the street from him. I'd be surprised if he actually saw some movement. Are you guys here? Actually, yeah. He... Oh, no. He sees him on the opposite side. I think he sees Lima. Um, there was one crawling in the field. Within fucking 30 meters. Best time to toss some grenades over. I know he's got them. Pretty sure Fred's got some grenades. All right, sword fire. fire. U.S. forces from the southeast south have pulled back the into the town finally. Yeah, yeah. Russian okay, forces that were pushing them are look like they might be converging. Not sure what they're gonna do. Okay, good shit. Yeah, good dropping here. smoke already on this forest right now, or on this town. We got smoke artillery moving in on town. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna try to push in. If they try to push in, they're gonna get cut down by Riffs and uh, Oscar Mike and uh, Wolfgang squad also. If they try to cross that street, these U.S. forces are just gonna mow them down. It's gonna be like a turkey shoot. Gonna line them up and stack them up. Yes, we're all running southwest, linking up with one and two. 
Oh, yeah, oh, Aethel, you gotta hold your guys like here on this line. Down. Like, we're not taking any contact in there. Secure it. Secure it, Vedukin. Not using the town to their advantage. They probably have some weird thing where they gotta secure this town and we gotta secure that fucking town. Those forces are fully afterwards. pulled out of the town. Yep. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as they come across this road, they're just gonna just get mowed down. Amazing, amazing. I mean, there, there's at least four of them just aimed right at them. If they don't see you, don't shoot. I mean, a grenade right now would probably take out at yeah, least five people. They're with you, Dickity, right now. So you're the DSL one. And Boogie and Lex Ryan, they're gonna move up the field. They got well, to see probably... young rat, young Savage and Remick at some point. Not, no, I, I mean, they're I moving. It's possible. They, well, they were. I think they're gonna they're gonna move they're somewhere else. But I mean, they were just so oh, close. Oh, oh, oh grenades uh, from the Russian like side out. takes out one. Oscar Mike's gonna have to heal up. I think Rifts went down. Oh, I think yeah, they I got spotted. Look, Unless that was just a oh bad God, grenade. Oh the gig right, is that's up. Right. Barrington no, and Nuclear power. Potato are bandaged. The same with Lima, uh, uh, Lima Bean. I have the cross. I need to get into church. We're the the cross. Careful. He doesn't like it when you call him that. <laughs> Lima Bean. <laughs> I'm a, all right, all right, yeah, I'm going to have to start doing that. Just call him Lima Bean. And it looks like Boogie's putting down some fire yeah, towards them. They're going to pull back a little no, bit. No, don't get up here. Don't get to me up here. Uh, they do it. Can I bipod up there? Russians definitely yeah. playing it careful. They are not in a rush to push the Americans. Uh, it doesn't, it oh, doesn't seem center. like it at let's all. And uh, Oscar Mike no, no, takes down J. Remick. Uh, you want me to go find him? Yeah, hold that broom. You're perfect where you are. Alpha, you're and it looks like the U.S. forces are pulling to their next point. Well, and I think the Russians have gotten the exact same point. Copy that. The Russians are, or, I'm sorry, the U.S. forces are actually going to be building their OP at that spot. Yeah. Just got comms from command. Just right now. There's guys northeast through the field. They're running more south pole where you are. Copy, Bill. They're yours. Engage them if you can. They're calling uh, out the Russian forces running through the you, field no, 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 no. to you, the no, east. No, east, of me. east. You might not trying to go now. even further into the woods. Try to get some kind of concealment. All right, apparently there's a fire team close to our east. Still got Wolfgang squad uh, over here with uh, Boogie, Lex, to Ryan, Evan, uh, Terrapin, Her Hombre, the Goon, and Steve. Terrapin and Goon are probably going to have the best best view of being on the second story of this uh, two-story building. If anyone comes through their... discipline so far, fellas. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. Keep up the good work, guys. Doing well. Oh, Terrapin's bipodded up in this window. If they move any further down that road, he's probably going to spot them. So close, bro. So close. And just decimate it looks like they're ready to, pulling to start further north. east of the road, so they're not going to be coming down the road. I'm thinking they're going to be coming from the southeast and doing a northwestern yep, push both sides. up right. into these fields uh, now, through sir, here. West, the India 7-4 is at fucking church. Come and the U.S. forces, they're going to start bobbing up on this town oh, over here. Charlie, All right, come. Roger. I want you to also head west. One can yeah, I'm sitting at eight kills for the oh, U.S. and seven for the Russians. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an even fight on a push to this town. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm liking it. This is going to be fun. This is going to be painstakingly slow. Yes, definitely uh, fun. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be a little slow. And then uh, all of a sudden it's going to be... You really know, fast people dropping like flies <laughs> oh yeah you're uh, all Major, of a sudden it's gonna be like okay that's the end of round one uh we'll be back in shortly uh, everyone else in the chat is gonna be like gonna check that what? point and then we'll move into what it. happened <laughs> a, more a more defensive uh expo location uh stand by for location get ready to move out copy car.
So the Americans are wearing BDUs because that's how it is modded for certain events. Uh, and this is a one life op. Objective is the bridge. Uh, so Box what happens seven, is, is you four. get you get down or i should say you die the medics can't pick you up they can only Copy just sit there and look at you moving. that's it um right. they can manage you if you get hurt but that's Both. about it you're gonna be following the road and the burns. what's going on vanilla that thunder how you West doing tonight you're probably supposed to be watching now my guys will get my guys are gonna haul out so we're not in farthest from contact we're gonna be hauling ass to that point now hey i'm all three on me copy alpha uh wolfgang you're following in Build for secure, northern security, uh, so you're moving power to Alpha. Box seven. We're going to be securing the south side of that. We're going to be pushing Let's west move. across the road and moving towards it. Let's go. I'm wondering what's Copy. going on with Squad Four up you're here on the northeast. Alpha. Remember, you have the remnants of Squad Three. I'm wondering if uh, Dorf and his squad are going to be pushing in from the north. Looks like Alpha Guido's pushing down to the uh, northwestern crossroads. Okay. Keep some distance. You're gonna, you're gonna set up some for us. If you engage something, points. you're going to bring you in to flank it. Project. Actually, it looks like more than just Alpha Guido. Looks like we've also got squads three and two, or what's left of two. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably where they're expecting someone to uh, come from. So it's probably a smart idea to go up there. Yeah, it is a pretty large U.S. force moving up to the north. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, actually, I think that's where they. Yeah, that's where they actually have to go to defend. Gotcha. I made a mistake. It's not that that original uh, position in golf eight. Liberal, yeah, it's good? not golf eight. They have not another five. position that they gotta. They actually have to super fob. So they're pulling okay, out sure, sure. to get to their final position. You're He's just bro. gonna give you like ten grand. What does he want you to do? Uh, let's and see. yeah, the Russians are just gonna be trailing behind. All right, congratulations for active discord. It, it goes from like a, a mixed patrol to a uh, attack and defend now. It looks like the U.S. are probably gonna end up defending, and the and the Russians being the attackers. Uh, Dorf, go ahead and pick a route to get to Fox Eight Nine. Copy. We had a little bit of tit for tat uh, there at the beginning. Also full strength. You get yeah, a lot of that's running. Why you're going first. A yeah, lot. you know. Go ahead and support four. <laughs> welcome to uh, two, welcome to squad. Welcome to squad ops. Vehicles. <laughs> yep. Oh no, welcome to squad before they had vehicles. A lot of running. I really thought we'd have more kills on each side by now, but we're only sitting at eight and seven. Like I, I'm, I'm really surprised about that. I thought we'd be at least like, at least fifteen on one side by now. Well, neither side was being truly very aggressive. You had the Americans were pulling back every chance they did get, and uh, the Russians weren't really pushing that hard on them. Yeah, they were putting out forces to maybe stall them. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a lot of aggression. Um, I don't expect a lot of aggression out of Ethel, but Xbit, ah, he's 50-50. I'm I'm I thought he would be a little bit more. Uh, Aggressive for this. Let's go, boys. Let's go, go, go. Yes, sir. Move it. Just handrail. Handrail the forest. Handrail the forest, and then we're going to fucking uh, cross the road at some point. Cover that. All right. Try to spread it out a little. I don't want to walk by Looks like Squad 2's find its setup yeah. place. I'm more worried about walking into it. We can shelter in these two buildings and hopefully going to capture any Russians crowning across the fields. Yep, have no one west of the road. Yeah. Um, and they're, and they're holed off eight, on seven, pushing eight. on to the bridge. So uh, both reinforce company to command to came through and said that there's uh, intrusion detection systems and cyber's trying to uh, take them down before they push onto it. Isn't that neat? We have a cyber detection unit and squad ops. Hey, Thor, we are uh, 360 security around us, correct? Copy, yeah. Correct, both. Okay, me. And it looks like the Russian forces are going to start pushing through the west across this field. I'd like to see them more on a line from north to south, not pushing in so, well, it looks like a glob of red. It looks like a glob of red moving across the, uh, the map 
I mean, they definitely need to spread out. They only got one that's spread out, and that's squad three up on the top. They probably got more than just uh, squad three. It's probably like some remnants of other squads. But, uh, I mean, once you get closer in, it kind of looks like a an arrow, a broken arrow, I guess you would say. But I'm thinking down here, it's going to be, uh, whose squad is this now? Like Oscar Mike fire team he's up in a second story is he upstairs or is he downstairs he's upstairs he might see them moving across this field and be able to call him out oh he's got his ar out he doesn't have binox out he might not see him he wouldn't see him anyways they're on the other side of the uh the bushes oh yeah there he's on the other side of that nope. edge grove he that's might across. be able to see him some of them are being a little dirty on their their uh bush crawl Oh, one's just, one's gone completely out of the bushes. Yep, you always got one. You always got one that's just like, hey, I'm going to run on this side, so I don't look like I'm on everyone else's stuff. Okay, platoon, sniper assures me. He's got Gundam standing there. The next two minutes. If, if we had our binos out, probably would have seen them. Yep, yeah, you probably would have saw like some, some little, some little legs. Yeah, I mean, just because they uh, had that FTL kit doesn't always necessarily mean they had the binos. That is the one thing I, I I forgot about. There's only the FTL actual kit that gets the binos. Yeah. That but is yeah, the, the downside. Yeah, the Russian forces are sitting on this wheat field, popping up every once in a while, trying to trying to see something with some binos. Looks like everyone's holed up like a tick, though, so they're not going to see much. You might see, like, someone pop in and out of a window here and there. But if I was, okay, if I was Seneca, I'd, uh, at least a I'd be, bit. In, the, be, well, I'd be in the weeds here. a little bit, have some kind of concealment watching with the binos, because um, you, you can still to see... To some stuff. Uh, I mean, the, the, the foliage like doesn't block everything open. unless you're sitting in front of a tree. I just moved the fire and it kind of kind of gives you that concealment. It diffuses, uh, you know, the big ass side. Russian helmet we'll that you have on top of your head. Copy. But as long as they don't cross this this road here that goes well, down yeah, to them, this MSR. They should be fine to sneak in pretty close. I think they'll probably get within like two, three hundred uh, meters of them before they get spotted. You are free to set up your fob radio on. Poor Oscar Mike's not even looking in the right direction. If he were to oh, turn guys, nice. towards the That's southeast, he'd probably see that entire line down there. Jesus. Oh yeah. Sometimes oh, you. I hey, there's a dude on the roof. Dude on the roof. Northwest. Yep. And as uh, soon as he, you said he turned, Seneca laid laid down. Agro it's like they knew. Nope, nope, shot. they're all standing. There is contact. Oscar there. Mike sees them. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. In the green building in one of the uh, windows. Arrow, the next the shot the hasn't been G5. listed G5. yet, no but visual. just uh, go ahead and G7 yes, keep uh, checking the challenge. Uh, I see him right window. On the rooftop. Rooftop. They built sandbags. Do you want to go? Now, on the opposite side, I'm pretty sure yeah, Duplex, yeah, who is staring now, right over there, here at Oscar Mike with binos, three, <laughs> definitely sees Fox someone. Three, yeah, you would think. But there, there's a fucking... Get oh, an angle we're gonna, they call we get across the road south? We got uh, probably Soldier yeah, Wolfie and Seneca over here. Oscar Mike's looking. Charlie, engage the guys with the sandbags. And they get the engage order. Let's see where they fire. I need two to engage the sandbags. He's got tons of targets. Oh, oh opening fire on Oscar Mike. Uh, yep. Hey, 296, Charlie, 296, we're top. Oscar Mike, knee in a medic. About to bleed out. Aside from that, no one else on this. Oh, they want to ask for Mike. Take it too much fire and then drop across the road south. Roger, we're, we're fine. We're keeping the fire on the Copy. No one else looking over towards the southeast. Oh. 
These guys are caught in the open. Terrapin sees him. He's laying down some fire. He's already hit uh, Soldier Wolfie. He's shooting towards to to uh, Lord Chanka and Headbuster. Yeah, but Wolf might get overwhelmed. He's not. How, how effective are you? Eight? Headbuster just being a mad lad laying in the dirt and just returning fire. And they're going to get down in this wheat field and hide. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We got Duplex Hopefully and uh, Rezkill, Afrogundan, and Silas moving down this wheat field towards yep, uh, Turtle. West here. We're going to be putting down sandbags and defenses. Uh, where do you want uh, my squad moving to? Got a couple of squad one trying to figure out where they can go set up and start setting fire on the Russians. Their original position is being peppered with bullets. U.S. forces are they're starting to build up their fob on this bridge. I don't know if that's a legal tactic right there. Yeah, they're 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 pulling up uh, sandbags. They got the command to start building they're going to build some defensive structures and hold this wa hold this river all the while we got a okay, russian we'll force a moving the east moving east along the river to towards bad news mm -hmm. don't think i could my pod right. uh -oh. <laughs> got foo he's one of their squad leaders he's probably got eyes on him moving around building up on that river he's only Evan about over 600 here. away Evan over here trying to set down his bipod and can't. Not on this rooftop. He's now going, no, oh, never mind. Evan's down. Boogie not happy. Uh, what's going on over here? Yeah, we got a we got a Russian squad just moving along the river straight towards them. Seems like they got all... All eyes focused, yeah, you, you know, on that, right that push towards the south, but they're not even looking towards the east along the river. No, no, you've got a little bit. You got a bar talk and uh I did not mean to do that. Fuck me. You got Bear Wolf squad oh, over Daniel here just down. Up. Yep, they know they're there now. Daniel gets We've taken got contact, out. Contact direct east on the by the riverbed. Yep, yep. And Bear Wolf calls it out. Copy both. Direct east on the riverbed. I mean, I should have stayed again. within the trees. Some real dense foliage over here down th down along the river. I don't know if they're going to be able to see anyone coming up before it's too late. Oh yeah, it's, it's really dense. They probably could have got within at least a hundred. I'm just going to stop building. So the American forces pulled completely out of their buildings and have moved back towards the bridge. That leaves them only with the forest as cover. Oof. I mean, yeah, they're, I mean, with the Russians moving in that fast, I mean, you, you got to you gotta call like an Alamo, especially if you're getting flanked on that river and you only seen one squad coming in from the other direction. And we're sitting even still with the kills, 10 for 10. It's like a trade, like one, like you get one guy, I get one guy. You get one guy, I get one guy. The downside here is though, I'm looking at the US and they are extremely bunched up right now. All it would take is a mortar strike, if possibly they had a uh, grenade. If they had one. Now the grenade, the grenade could be a possibility. Someone's gotta be to very lucky for that you, lob. Uh, to the north. Yeah. Yeah, just make Roger. a line there. Get the best positions you can. Find a good bullish or watch that. That's... Yeah, you would think like like just looking, it's like, oh I only see a couple of blue and then a C or red that the Russians are out shooting the U.S., but it's still even. Oh, yeah. Like you said, the, 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 the U.S. are just too bunched up. They need to spread out more. 
Get like a defensive 360. Well, not even a defensive 360. Just get a defensive 180. Yeah, all they got is a river to the back. Which, if the Russians actually took the initiative and went across the river and camped behind them, I don't know how it would have gone. Yeah. Just take one element and go across like a footbridge and then attack from the other side of the bridge just cause a distraction while your main force pushes in from the other Yeah, they're not even looking towards the river. They're set up all their defenses. Charlie, go ahead, push southwest and west of Bravo. One's moving to push on the right Copy. Let's pack it up, Charlie. It's a fucking miracle. No, you go. You're going to the. You're going to the trees. Past no Bravo. So far, Fu, we're gonna be Still more building going up. Oh, okay. oh well, we finally got it. Like bar right talk. Don't clear those buildings. Make sure they're clear, Charlie. Right, clear, Don't worry clear, about clear, the contact clear. though. Oh, bar talk. Pin them down. We were Remember that grenade we were people. talking about? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're getting closer. Yep, and the HMG's firing off, just spraying across. See if it hits anything. Dude, they are danger close. I know they're close, they're at the house. Probably hold that ammo count for now. And Monez, he's got a cheeky little spot on this footbridge. Ooh, Bartok. Ah, uh, didn't hit him. Grenade did not hit him. Uh, uh, hold on. He's got a sandbag in between him and the grenade. Um. He's definitely getting suppressed from uh, all the fire going over his head. He's by trying to buy find a good place to bypass. Fulcrum over here. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. He's trying to... He's trying to fight off almost the entire Russian forces here up on the south. That's fine. I got ammo. Boogie sitting here all by his lonesome. Just waiting for someone. Not looking the right direction. Well, he's probably told to look one direction, but he's got probably a squad and a half size moving to his southwest right by Maybe Frost. Okay. Maybe Frost will see him. Frost is way out here. Holding down. I think the American forces are starting to realize they are surrounded. Yeah, I, th I think they're starting to get that now, too. Little, pan little panic shooting going on. Russia's Russian forces on the uh, eastern direction are not moving up very much. Yeah, I think they're waiting for this squad that's all the way out here on the west to move into a better better position. Uh, they only got Frost out here. Hopefully he can relay that Everybody's people are moving. I mean, they're moving quick and close to him. Oh, Someone shit. They're pushing down west. Down. They're pushing they were west. To. They're We've pushing got west. more smoke coming in. Cutting north. They're about to hit Frost in the side here. This could be that Frost push from the Russians. Back. Smoke covered my my side on them. Hey, they got around to our southwest. Yeah. I've warned Frost. <laughs> They're about to get hit hard. Start up. And oh, it looks like the Russians the are making it. Yep. Oh yeah, they're getting in close. There's straight bullets. up the they southeast. Snuck past the east. that. Just ran oh, through the happening. smoke. Best pony already in the lines. No one knows he's there. Yeah, oh yeah, he just took out the HMG. Where? Ethel, not I even. even seen him. Oh, don't get shot. Got Ethel. Oh. And, uh, Southeast pony? portion of the Russians so pushed it. And pony and Alpha Guido traded with each other. Don't get shot inside of. The, uh, and rather Scottish chap, they've made it through some of the U.S. forces.
Fulcrum and Terrapin got a whole half squad right there next to him. Is Rubber Pelican gonna see him or is, is uh, Fulcrum gonna see him? Oh, down goes Rubber. The AR is 040. Now more command comms. Square. 040. Salty Potato. He's got about six people in front of him. Two behind him. It looks like the Russian forces on the west side are trying to move closer to the riverbed just, lost an MG or just to get AR. a just to get a uh, good push going on. 50 meters. Yeah. We're sitting at looks still 18 and 18 for space. kills. Hey, um, yeah, it looks uh, like the Russian command has also gone west, down. West. Yep. Copy. Just saw that. Not sure who took him out. This is the law we're going to get with all the commands going down and not a lot of command chat going on. Don't get shot in a rather Scottish chap or thick in the enemy forces right now. Trust me, Thunder. It's even. It's just very crunched. All right, let's start sweeping these guys. All right, copy. We got sandbag rope. Force uh, moving. Roger, Bravo. Just move, nice and slow. Nice and slow. They want to pin down. They're directly yeah. slow. There's a big fucking fort they got going on. So uh, use frags. I think Terrapin and the goon are gonna get confused. Now that don't get shot is firing shots over their head. They're gonna think yeah. that it's you know, friendly forces. And Terrapin goes down, left Reference, leaving uh, just the sandbag. goon and salty Enemy. potato. Goon's gone down. God damn it, Duplex. US is oh, lagger goes down. They're just <laughs> estimating them within from within their own ranks. Russians are just pushing this the uh, western southwest side heavily. We've already lost majority of Oh man. Riser's squad's oh, pretty much gone. Are we able to push? We're down two at this point. Yeah, yeah, there's only on about eight We've got folks smokes up. left help. open for the uh, U. For some reason, Siri thought I was talking to her. Oh, that's not good. All of a sudden, my phone just starts giving me results on things. I'm like, what? Now, here's the fun thing is we've had the Russians push in through the middle, but we've got Steve-O, Boogie, and Wolfgang have somehow pushed out behind the Russian line. Ooh, Here, let's kill these motherfuckers. Nice. See that? Look Dang at it. that. Maybe they'll start Shit, pushing down southwest, and get head bus to Seneca and Lord I'm getting flanked southwest. Roger. Oh, shit. And they may have been spotted. How far, Shaka? Yep, they're moving the guys into a secret grenade that went out. Doesn't look like it got. What I need you to push the Yeah, we're doing it. We're slowly doing it. Four, we're coming to contact. Doctor Forms, he gets taken out. The southwest, south. We're gonna try to make our way back up. Do you think we have to get the other one? Once. Oh, we got seven U.S. forces left. He's trying to push him now. Chucky, you got anything over that way? <sighs> All right. Oh, there's a guy straight to our east, northeast. He's, he's across. Get the road. him, Wolfgang and Boogie. Get him. Oh, Thank you. Twisted mode. <laughs> nope. Damn it! Not the bleed out. Down goes Wolfgang. <laughs> Well, this should be interesting. He's down the riser only up at the front <laughs> line on the, the western side. Oh, I'm stuck. Never mind. Somehow, Boogie's still up. He's just we have laughing no at him one. over no. there. 
Leave me alone! No one on the western line anymore except for further back. We've got Fulcrum and Fuck Frost. Off. Well, Frost just went down. Looks like it's just so up to uh, Salty Potato over here. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, it's, he's it's, the... Yeah, he's the only one left. It's just uh, Salty Potato. I think he's scared. Well, at least he's not AFK. He's looking around. Yes, he is scared. <laughs> Definitely going to have to do something. He can't just sit here. Mm -mm. It's never fun being the last person. Because you know there's a whole nother group out there looking for you. Not only that, you know there's a whole stream watching you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Russians making it very oh, yeah. careful push. Says he sees some. He's not doing a good job on his shots. Trying to displace. Sees don't get shot in wrath. Uh oh. Scottish chap took over one of our gun emplacements. Nah, he's got no eyes. Oh, potato, they know where you are. Those uh, smoke grenades probably aren't going to do much for you. And he's just going to charge. Oh, what much? What else can you do? Other than sneak, sneak around like silent. But I don't think anyone can do that. No. That's only <laughs> silent. Oh, and there he is. He is down. U.S. forces have been taken out. It looks like it's going to be a Russian win, and we are GG, folks, with round one of Operation Cobweb. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we'll we return with round two of Operation Cobweb. Oh, yep, we're live. Uh, so, yeah, we're live with round two Operation Cobweb. Wolfie, you're going to bring up the rear. We got the U.S. forces pushing out of Maine, heading west. Everybody, Probably, hopefully, all online. Three, you may move out now. Let's go. Copy. Let's follow behind. Increasing spacing. Or slightly side. Yep. Squad one, hold. And it looks like Copy. hopefully they're going to take each line. size of these tree Placing lines. West. Yep. Yep. Clay just called it. Hopefully. Thank God someone said that you don't want to move down a road straight into an MSR towards Russian Maine. I'm still seeing a couple of people moving down the road. Yeah, hopefully they get across that someone's going to check them and get them into position. So maybe they're going to do a, a full southern push or south side push and then uh, turn the corner and go north. Maybe. All right, squad one's going to hold well, your fly over to the time. Russians. And it looks like the Russians are running the exact same direction. Yeah, definitely. They're they're all moving in the same direction. We got a line of Russians going from south to north, making an eastern push. Might get a little bit of a. Uh, how is this? Op how open is this field up here? It might be uh, might be tree line to tree line. I don't know. I think the U.S. are going to probably, they're going to be deep in the forest. The Russian forces might not see them. They're a little bit more north, their main push from the uh, U.S. position. Looks like all of the U.S. are in the tree. And the Russian forces are moving a little bit north of them. Guys, 
We have got spreading orders, so they're not going to be as bunched up as last time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not punching all your squads up. Definitely need everyone spread out. I don't know. It might be fun to just see a, a nade lob in there and then they all spread out. Yeah, I mean, it just makes for a quick op. I mean, we did an op about three weeks ago where they had a, a oh, this is two or three lodges really. just run into each other. They run into each other, and they it was 15 kills within five minutes. Like the first five minutes of the op, it was 15 kills for one side. I feel I should be playing the final countdown because I'm just watching the American forces and the Russian forces just. They're slowly coming. inch, They're yeah. Slowly <laughs> inching towards each other. Pull up my countdown graphic, starting at about three minutes. Who's gonna see who first, though? Is it gonna be Afro Gundam or is it gonna be Boogie? Uh I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna put my money on Boogie. Okay, does that mean I take I'll put mine out? on Dwarf and Duplex. My knees are the enemy? Yes. Alright. Cause, Cause then you can't get close to me with those knives. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna go flex, prone to this thicket. Flex, flex, flex. I'm gonna add you an I mean, yeah, Boogie and Afro Gundam, they're pretty close. They seem like they're pretty close to each other. They're worth in like those, 100 meters. Oh shit, they're right in front of us! Oh, there it is. Yep, Russian forces are the, the uh, U.S. forces first. Well, that's my loss. Down goes duplex. And the downside Down here is we've got the same. We've got the same thing going on here as last time. You've got one force holding the American forces, and the rest of the Russians are wrapping. Back, Lex. Yep. Run back, Lex. Come back. Got Boo moving uh, in a field. Not a very smart decision when you got contacts real close to you. He's within under. Oh. He's got the entire Russian platoon out to his flank on the right. Come here. He's only got about a squad and a half in front of him. No, I'm Hey, hey, Yeah, Is that more Russian forces coming in to support? Looks yeah, like it. It's uh, two squads of Russians pushing in on the U.S. while the other two squads push along a line on the north side and probably going to sweep back down and around. Either they're gonna, those Russian forces are gonna push in from the <laughs> north, or they're gonna sweep all the way around and pinch them from the west. Depending on, depending on where they push from, they might be caught by the American forces. But if they go far enough back, I don't think they've got anyone looking back. This there. sucks. No, no one, no one that could see them right now is even looking that direction. Everyone's focused on this uh, west tree. side. No, you've you've got um. You got Barrington in the back. They won't shoot Keeping me with the medic bag out. North, but he's not where he should be looking. He's keeping okay. an eye on the forest, but not the cross path. How many did you kill? I killed maybe two. Definitely one. If he stays there, he might see the Russian forces crossing over to the forest line. And it looks like the Russian forces are pulling off from that western flank. Nice little feint. Yeah, like you said, I see Barrington running up towards the north, trying to look out, see if he sees anybody moving on that flank. But the Russian forces on the north side, they're slowly but steadily gaining ground on that eastern side of them. And if they push up these trees, they're probably going to get caught right nice, right in a nice pinch. 
Unless the Russian forces start pushing straight down this tree line, it looks like they might be doing just that. Americans pop their US UAV mission. Command, this is two. We're holding firm. Do you want us to hold this pause and defend, or do you want us to go around on a northern flank? No, two. If anything, new force force position. Up. Oh, U.S. forces are pulling Roger. back from the yeah, north. Looks like they're gonna Command stay hold, like stand hold, and go west. Back to the west. Oh, they got a Russian force coming down from the north. We still got uh, some wood line or west we can take. Go ahead, the wood line until it opens up. Bound forward. Russian, Russian forces a, split uh, a little too much here. Forward. Looks like they got Copy one squad that. moved into the forest, but the rest of them are moving up the road northbound. Ah, oh, yeah. Might make it interesting. You never know. One squad could be the end for the U.S. force. Depends on the aptitude of the squad. Yep. We already saw that in the first round. Oh, yes. Or is this platoon just holding this southern flank to see if the U.S. forces pushed north from where they were? So the Russian forces are moving away from the U.S. forces next objective, which is Delta 10 4 this Y position right here, the Y in the road, Delta 10 4 2 might, uh, might benefit the U.S. forces right now because it did look like they were going to get pinched. Might get another engagement here across the field with the uh, U.S. and Russia. Oh, uh, yeah, the Russians clear. Oh, go across that field, and anyone's even looking towards the north, they're going to catch. Oh, Clay's looking. Stay looking that way, Clay. Come on, Clay. Yep. Contact Clay got him. North across the field in the tr opposite tree line. All right, copy that one. Go ahead and squad two. Engage. Moving. Engage one. Oh, I got eyes on him. There's fucking like a squad. Holy shit! Yeah, Where? we're all running north. Garrett, east. zero one five, zero one five zero, in the open. Yeah. Zero one five in the open. Now zero twenty two. Now zero zero two. And they're opening up on those Russians. One gets hurt. Running into the big uh, wheat field. Enemy is pulling Check back uh, northeast. Into Not the sure if they trees. fully know where they are at the and, uh, tip of the uh, 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 U.S. forces. They're kind of just field. shooting off uh, four, three. covering fire. Three. three, four. You're you're right on my guys. Maybe shift your lines. And it's liberal pundit who gets hurt. Hopefully Copy he's a medic and he can just heal himself. South right now. Copy that. Man, seeing them moving across, moving in this field, into the tree line. Still got that UAV up. Russian forces are probably going to be doing an eastern push here shortly. Platoon. Getting into this tree line. Uh, see U.S. retreating east and Fox 10 moving into Ch Gulf 10. Uh, permission to belay the, the the waypoint and move towards the contact to our east. Uh, we're going to check with battalion and uh, get back to you. For now, continue to move towards the waypoint to the east. Over. All right, copy. Squads 2 and 1. Sorry to hear about that, Remick. And, uh, yeah, we Fox know which voice you're talking about. Gulf 10 it's Wilbur, right? 
Uh, no. Mark Santa Six, understood. Then <laughs> it's obviously Command, best plan. going east and around us. Exactly. I recommend that you back up and get behind my fire team. Pony or dwarf? Maybe even maybe frenzy. Maybe that's what they're talking about. First platoon, this is Company Command. We hear your uh, maybe intel Scottish. About U.S. crossing to your north. Uh, we're gonna cancel that initial point. New orders are to patrol north. And make sure there's no stragglers on that side of the road. Check Echo Nine Three. Echo nine three over. Looks like the American forces are about to start patrolling northbound to Echo nine three. Squads one and two, go ahead and start. Not going to hit north. much over there, Use but it's definitely going to probably command. put them in the middle or out oh, in the yeah. open. Go ahead, command. Cut off. If whatever. they play it safe, they'll yeah, take the forest path. North. Hope they don't take that run Maybe across the field. Echo nine three. Uh, who would Echo run across the field? Command, Sadly, uh, I probably would. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> that's shortest that's point in the uh, shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Yes. Just try to keep a platoon line moving north so we can clear about three. And meters. he's calling for a platoon line Squad boys, straight command. north push, so some are going to be out in the open. Four, I want you to go ahead and bring up the rear behind the platoon. Maybe you're liberal and then we're going to see cops. him. Contact northeast bearing 041 for my pause. Approximate grid location F10 53. Wow. Alright, two Sergeant Jackson just distance, called out Fred and Riffs. Third general I'm wondering location. Someone to spot him. Oh, and oh, there's best a, pony. Oh, yep. Engage. <laughs> and then Riffs takes a shot. Fred's still holding shore. One of the three over there is falling back, but the other two are still hitting the... Oh yeah, Fred, Fred's just taking shots. Liberal and, Re and Raf's... Oh, back. down oh, goes! Ran Anyone in the wrong direction. Oh no. Command, we're holding a base of fire Not here. really the wrong direction. He was rounding back towards his... Uh, team but the bad part is he and left the cover to do so yeah we're across the road here yeah just caught a random round in the forest yep two pull off well the u.s are holding down the russians right now we got the u.s forces moving up to their next checkpoint Got your nightmare, Lima Bean, Garrett Potato, Barrington, Abu Hajar, and Salty Toast moving up to clear out the next checkpoint. Still, I mean, they they gotta gotta have that fear that there's Russians here because they don't know where everybody is. They're probably only getting small contact reports down to the uh, squad or fire team level. Yeah, I would believe so. And right now, they're not getting anything, because I don't think anyone can see anyone, if that made any oh, sense. No. <laughs> no, they can't. I mean, it's so it's so heavily forested. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty dense uh, foliage. I think that's why there's not a lot of fog on this layer. Ah, oh, fog. My worst Command enemy. Command, this is three. That oh, yeah. bullets. <laughs> my squad I, I hate the, how the dense area. the fog is South sometimes on uh, some Nine of these op maps. And I mean, it's, needed, we will pivot east to it's there for a reason, Echo and it works out for the better, but I just Echo hate it because I want to I want to see, you know, a thousand meters away. But squad one, this I'm is just three. being picky. Yeah. Everyone's contact, uh, entitled to being picky. Fire team, it depends on how picky you are. Understood. All right. yeah, it looks like Copy the American forces ahead, are so finally reconverging together. Understood. Uh, 
no idea what the uh, Russian forces are doing. Uh, they keep, they, they, they seem pretty stalled. Command, this is three. Three is command. I think Athel's uh, three has uh, still in his lull of move up to that. taking in information and making his moves after that. Well, it looks like he's left. Copy. Two squad, no, three squads to three, watch four, the forest uh, get set up to east Understood. of the American so forces, four, and he's using is, the uh, last like remaining one to continue his uh, sweep. We'll oh, okay, it's a little. Or different. last two remaining ones. Got, I think uh, squad three and two. Yeah, because I'm I'm only, I'm only seeing the U.S. forces moving right now. It seems like the Russians are just holding steady. I'm wondering, are they building? Did they get no, an OP position? I don't think so. I think I they're just doing as I said. They're they've got three forces sitting back, holding that forest line because they the believe the Americans are still over there. They have not resituated as if they are to Shepherd? their west. Oh, no. Oh, because they had, yeah, because they got two and three moving far on the east him. side, doing a southern line. We'll bang later, okay. uh, I guess, hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you're pushing that far to the south, get and on, uh, probably just trying to get some I'm information. Nonetheless. Maybe trying to do a flank, thinking that they're still sitting in that Everybody forest down there, <laughs> but they moved off. Grats, bro. Play J and I Duke and two squad leaders only about I'd say 300 meters away from each Knives other. Out, guys. We can't have any NDs. Yeah, crime wave. No vehicles this operation. This is all uh, infantry foot patrols. <laughs> I think they were hoping they would be able to wrap the American forces if they moved fast enough. Because what they're doing is now they're crossing over to the uh, southern side and are pushing up westward where the American forces were. Do you do you subscribe to OnlyFans? Okay, yeah. Maybe thinking that uh, just like last like, round, they kind of just stayed one, in the one position and they were able to get like, they were like, able to get wrapped around on. But it seems like it's more cat and mouse right now. Oh yeah. Oh, what's this? We've got Russian forces just pushing across the open field here. They're all converging on the southern forest. Oh, I'm wondering if Clay J is going to see him. He's looking that direction. Oh, when you accidentally tap out. General Zoomcom was no fool. <sighs> what war? Was that Afghanistan? That was World War II. Oh, okay. So, uh, are there any enemies left? Dmitry Reznov is the hero of the Soviet Union. <laughs> so is General Zoomcom. Uh, warehouses what? surrounding Delta 9-6. Copy that. So we're getting a uh, a fob build order from command. Correct, yes. Delta nine six this uh by intersection the and then take over these factory Understood, warehouse. So that's where the final position is gonna be and then the Russian forces are gonna have that's to come in and take over strike. the uh US's uh strong point that they're gonna build and this is a good spot to be in too. There's a Spectre lot of three, hidden four, spots two. in these uh, warehouses over here in this Y intersection. Sitting at a kill count of three for the Ar U.S. Army and four for the Russian forces. Still Squad somebody. Go ahead, okay, command. Squad one, I want you that a uh, squad line uh, on the western side of the road starting in Echo 989 and going south. As far as you can go, 200 meter line. Speaking of enemies left, how many have we lost so far on both sides? 
Uh, we only have lost three on the army, and or three for the U.S. and four for the Russian. That's it. Uh, is been somewhat squad uneventful. Two, I want you to go ahead and set a squad line uh, from your location west, about two to three hundred. This is hilarious because there's no role difference uh, here on either the side. They both have the same yep. objective. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's four. just yeah. Four, I, want you to see I don't know. Sometimes it happens this way. Side of the fob in those buildings facing west. Roger, west side of the fob facing west. So we got some that are going to be setting up in these buildings on the west side of the road right here. And then we're going to have, I think, a squad here on the other side of the road just east of this location Companies holding the road to see if anybody pushes. Go ahead. And possibly, yeah. Oh, and Radio more on this side, too. Supplies if we're sending those here. Copy that. And they're we requesting supplies, supplies coming in. Remember, they're going to get uh, 600 build, and I believe it's 1,000 ammo. Let me double check that. It is, yep, 6,000 build and 1,000 ammo. So they'll be able to set up a heavy machine gun at some point, somewhere, and uh, also build up defensive structures. You can do a lot with 6,000. Definitely. Now it looks like the Russian forces are firing, finally right, reconverging set, together. Are my line stretches from what are they going to do nine, next? Nine, are they going to push no, down nine, further three, west, or are they going to... Really? I thought if you went up no, in this window up really here, you don't know. Oh, yeah, second floor well, that's really it. Nice. No, you, you can you can what see I would position, do from their position is position, I would do off, a direct southern push into that uh, location. It's heavily forested. You got a lot of trees and low ground <laughs> to cover you. Food. And if things go can sour, you guys can still push stuff? even further west and still have trees to cover and conceal, or I should hey, say, boss, conceal your movement into the town. And the east. That's where this we're town be is just, we got a lot like, of once they get into the town, that's where the problem's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, I I have, have, let's let's play this map in an op a couple of times, and these warehouses, these bombed out warehouses, they are a lot of, like, where are you? Offloading spaces supplies. where you're like, um, outside what do you mean there's somebody there? They're empty now. Oh, so yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Easily hide allowed, nook like and HMGs crannies or just, stuff like that. you know, yeah. there's lots if of places to fire out from. HMG in here, Unlike a standard non-blown out town. Yep. I'd set I'm, it. Honestly, I'm thinking we're going to get attacked for the southeast or east. If okay. I was the enemy and I was coming here, I would not charge straight. Oh, to the maybe they're just going to do a direct push across maybe, the field. You know, maybe they're braver than that. That's ballsy. Right, well, if you want to wait to set so up the thinking, Yeah, HMG maybe Aethel's uh, changing well, his ways and just like, you know what? We're just going to go for it and see what happens. Yeah, like this corner over here that looks over this open field. That way you have a full 90 degree view. Oh, over here? Yeah. Now, at this point, do they west? know the Americans yeah, have like, set up their FOB? Or, no, or look, looking south. To uh, at least a general area that they would be in? Got Probably it. they've gotten yeah, com one, they've gotten good, comms actually. from uh, event admin telling them that that's where it is, and that's the or, or at least that's their next sort of location that, that they got to clear out. The, uh, I'm pretty sure they've just been told like that's your next box. location that you got to clear uh, out. Yeah, this could be interesting. All right, all squads. If you put a sandbag yeah. right here. You could be at good protection. Yeah. Expect contact at I any mean, minute. Killer, squads one and two, if you are engaged. Go ahead and fall you know, back into the, the uh, position as you see. You got a Russian squad west, one yeah. sitting on a tree line, yeah. getting close to pro like open, close, clear a field. Really uh, the good thing is it is a wheat Commander field. Three. You're going to got a Five, little three. hedge grove to cross and then a wheat field to uh, go through. Where do you want my squad then they just got to fight their way through the forest. Uh, and the rest of the Russians, it looks like he's going to be doing a western push and probably pushing up from the south. Right pretty sure Aethel is going to push at least one squad over to the far east. Understood, command. Uh, that one position is very strong, but as soon as they put fire on it, we'll uh, see. I, they might do a hard north. northern so push. I'm I'll keep my Bravo fire team on the northeast corner or, down and the branch that they're in. I guess that they're coming from the direction southern and then, push. Uh, and then also yeah, I would hope so because Squad One's getting real close to the U.S. forces, and uh, they don't have any support. Unless they're just a sacrificial squad. They may be a sacrificial squad, 
So then again, Expit just gave out the uh, collapse orders. If they start taking fire, they're supposed to collapse back towards the town. Oh yeah, more bodies in inside the inside that town. That's what I would do, just because of how those buildings are set up. I mean, it's it's dangerous. I'm assuming I was uh, ND there. Yeah, that was uh, Command ND. And they're already taking fire. fire Someone goes down. Oh, Scrooby, he gets taken out. They've called out this eastern side of Russian forces pushing in. Understood. Fluff McGruffs, he's laying down some fire with an AR. Haven't hit that collapse threshold yet. Fire team exited the field in F-78. That's a fire team. Two have been killed. Yeah, probably not enough contacts for them to say, oh, okay, it's time to pull back. No, they're starting. They're starting to move some of their forces back. My line here. Oh, okay. F-10, 7-8. Yeah, they're, they're collapsing them. Slowly, but they're collapsing. Uh, one, two, three, one. You got your nightmare, Abba Haraj, Salty Toast, still holding firm. Probably just waiting to see some movement, see if they pulled back or if they're going to push forward. Your nightmare has got a great bipod position here. He's got just the smallest little bit of a tree trunk blocking his view. I mean, he can he can see a, a good 60 degrees one, of rotation. One, three. Go ahead, three. And the Russians are pushing even three, further uh, west on this here. south side. With only uh, one squad that's just sitting. If you need it, they might not have any command uh, comms. I know that's squad one. Uh, no, they should. Burtonizer's still up. To the north side and hit us to the northwest. Yeah, Calvary, I'll send another guy up there looking north. Understood, thank you. I do like that the U.S. is uh, sticking within the trees. They're not going out into any of these clearings like this big mortar hole or artillery hole that has been put into the map. Even though there are a lot of tree stumps that you can hide in. Like Digit here. He found himself a nice one to uh, probably just peek up over top of. Pretty sure he's going to see these Russian forces coming from the south side here shortly. And they're only within like, uh, I'd say probably about 150, 200 meters. Yeah, we're going to, this is going to be interesting. Russians, that's a nice spread line, too. Yeah, it, it definitely is a, a, a good line. And like I said, they got forces pushing in from the south, and then they got more that are moving out to the west, probably for a western push. I don't know if Pony and his his team over here are going to have a good, uh, good observation on this western side until they get up really close. This is almost like looking through a swamp right here towards the west side of the fob that they've had to build up. West, southwest. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's going to be tricky. They might get up on them on, real on, close before they even spot the right, them. South. Yeah, they might be trying to wrap around. They might be directly south of your house, Sim. Roger. We've killed three or four. No, it looks like they're all moving in south from the south. Yep. I don't belong here. They're waiting. Oh. U.S. is ready for a southern push. They got some it's good intel one. on them. 
I like in I like in uh, rainbows. In rainbows is good. Mine is louder with Crowder. Black. Yeah, I, love I don't know what Digit's Crowder. gonna see, but he'll probably be Ooh. seeing someone here shortly. I mean, he's got guys yes. really on, close to him. Blades. Then a hundred uh, meters. Everybody put your guns on full auto. Empty copy. the entire magazine of the first guy you see. Saw a copy. All Thank right, you, right, FTL. Right. We got oh, Evans even, and Boogie like, moving right, right up on. Are we going left or right of this? <laughs> I would go left. Don't get I'll shot in Best Pony. Yep. All right. They're getting. Bye, they're getting. They're going right into it. Flex, come here, 318. You guys taking contact with 318? No. They keep going, they're gonna run right into him. Oh, don't oh get there goes Spot Boogie. Him. Goes Turtle. And don't get shot, goes into an interesting position. <laughs> oh, nice nade. Right, that stopped the southern push on the middle portion. What about down southwest west? Still got a whole squad oh, that hasn't moved in. Yep, they're wrapping around towards the west. Command, do we have a four? Four, this is three. Do we I'm have wondering if the uh, this squad west? out here on the western side is going to be making yeah, Roger, a got, uh, full... Fire team in that building to your oh, they're starting to move in west. Copy that. In the building west of the building command is... Yeah, Roger that. Copy. Chanka and don't get shot laying down some suppressive fire Command, still got a Russian uh, force getting real close to a soldier fire team on the southwest side Hopefully of he's that continuing to look that way fire standing team. in a doorway I should be peeking out these windows. He's looking towards the south get, get some shots taken on him Command this is three my HMG has opened up on contact south Russians moving in right on the edge of the Command, western side of town. On the west side. Command, I've got an enemy fire team yep. on the west side. Oh, moving. Down Uncle goes, Ricky Uncle down. Ricky. I need you to fall now. We got right, flanked on the no west. Video. You cannot say anything. Yeah, they're coming. And you got right. Afro Gundam. Copy, pull back. Oh, and they're taking heavy fire. Seneca's going to pull back. Soldier Wolfie takes some shots. He's going to have to heal up. Him and Chonk. Not sure Alpha's if that smoke real toss was purposeful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it, watch it, watch it. They're going to be coming in. I'm hurting. Sled B, he's putting down some fire towards e and Flicker trying to breach his wall. All through the window, right side, right up. Command, oh, Sledby goes down to a grenade, probably right possibly through the window. Yeah, yeah, no. Reskill just waiting. Oh, he gets no. taken down by e -Fank. I do have friendly. Don't yeah, get friendly shot, he goes me. down. Copy that. This western no, no, flank shit. is falling. Yeah, I'm good. It is falling. Okay, still one more out there gotten into the town that portion that we were talking about oh yeah they're they're the the russians are pushing this pretty good they're checking all the dirty corners wolfie and chanka i don't think they know about these yeah, other guys oh chanka hers them he's gonna start looking towards uh e fank and wolfgang's position they're gonna cover 360 on this building Rubba laying down some fire up towards the uh, south southeast. Not much there except for Ethel and uh, Goon. X Ryan, he's in, he's within a building close with everybody else. He's got a lot around him. He's going to be doing a lot of CQC. He's got command right in front of him. Trying to take some shots through the wall. Sitting at 14 kills for the U.S. Army and 12 for the Russian forces. Oh, Sergeant Jackson goes down to a grenade from Lex Ryan. 
Uh, expert, he's got a he's got a bandage up. Wolfie's out here all by his lonesome. Oh, now he's down. Getting pushed pretty hard southwest. They got a south. This south and west push has really done us some damage. The U.S. forces. Lex Ryan and must... <laughs> yeah, they're sharing a wall. <laughs> oh my god. Well, they're just being buddy buddy. Oh yeah. But you know, buddy buddy ends until someone shoots a bullet. All right. What's the rest of the rush of push? Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're still sitting out there. Squad one and squad four are sitting down. While everyone else takes all the kills. Oh, those are smoke grenades on the south side. Afro Gundam goes down. I was wondering when they're finally going to start using those mortars. Yeah, they're going to be covering at their approach. Enemies are about to make their push. Rob a Pelican and Xbit and rather Scottish Chap are definitely in some trouble. They got a lot of guys pushing in from their southwest. Oh, down goes command. I think a smoke mortar round took him out. What are the yeah, odds right. of that? That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, don't you have to be hit directly? Yep. Or if you don't have a lot of uh, health. I can't see anything through all this. Oh, you got Razor and why is your bottom in the middle pushing past? On the outskirts of the smoke, pretty close to Rubba Pelican. There's only uh, two rounds there, Carmen. Or common. Root takes takes some death. Why is your bottom in the middle gets taken out? Razor's still holding in this hole. Rather Scotch chap taken out. Oh, there he goes. Oh no. Razor Kobe, down. Kobe. 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 In the Kobe. Yeah, yeah, they're in the building. Oh no. Copy that. They're in the Side of the fog. Oh! Oh! Who makes it out? Yeah, bandage, bandage, bandage. Kobe, just not. Still not got killer and Raph. <laughs> out here on the side. That Wolf and Flicker and Evan over here just kind of stalled in the middle of this building. Uh oh. Hopefully they're just waiting. And we got a small fire team pushing out towards the north. Your nightmare. Barrington, Abu Haraj, and Salty Toast. Maybe they're going to do a sneakier flank. See if they can't catch anyone on this northern side. Squad one, sit rep. Anybody up on the command? We've lost command, correct, on the U.S. side? Yes, yeah, Expit is down. Hmm. Oh, there went Scottish. And Foo's probably going to be next, or can he fight them off? It's like about 12 U.S. forces left. Foo is doing some damage. He's working on it. Oh, no, Foo, no. Oh, oh what? Oh whoa! <laughs> he got him. Hop over a wall and just stand on his head, and then Flicker goes down. He got saved, probably by Raph. Dang, Foo on the friendly, friendly. run. Friendly is building. Friendly in this building. Copy. There might be some to the south. And has managed to relink up with another team member. If anybody can hear me on the command app, we are reconsolidating around the pop. Hey, for my cells down. Most of my squad's up though. Copy Nashville, that. all alone up there. Uh oh. One. Got a grenade. Oh. Oh, he hurts, milkman.
U.S. is doing a really good job of defending this point. Oh. Down goes Milkman. Squad one, east sir, east enemy east. Tree briefing Nashville the, uh, down briefing also. The enemy, uh, houses to the east. They're also proceeding from northeast. We've lost the eastern portion of the town, and they're moving down from there. Keep moving, don't get Your one, nightmare. He's doing a bold move, getting up on this uh, one of these berms, bipodded up. But he could see a lot of people. I think he sees Oscar Mike. And he does. So the Russians are only down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Russians left. And I think it's 11 U.S. 10 U.S. So eight to 10. I think Rush or U.S. have the foothold. They have the better positions. Got Nightmare over here trying to take out some guys on the Russian side. Yeah, unless Imona sees him over here on the left-hand side. But she might. Oh, he does. Headshot. Oh. Uh, down goes uh, Nightmare. That, that was a good position for Nightmare. Just not good enough. Squad one, so it looks up. like it's Let's seven on... Seven on seven right now. I sent a spot, uh, it's gonna be close. To go they have contacts to the north Might end up being a one v one. Understood one. You just gotta wait for them to pass. When I entered this building, I didn't even see you in the corner. It I might be, might end up being a one v one on Rust with how these buildings look. Oh no. Everyone, oh no, there's more than seven. There's uh, nine U.S. Still got Abu Hedger and Salty Toast up on the north side. So nine on seven. I really want to see a 1v1 in an op. Do you have a target up there, Jim? Northeast. Copy that. They're in the, uh, they're in the ditches. You got nine, you got eight. Shell holes. Actually, I think on the Russian the side. Roger that. Oh, eight? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah words are hard. Yeah, there's eight. Sweet. I Mona is dancing around, dodging some bullets from mobs. These Russian forces down here on the south have just kind of just stalled. No one's making any moves. They're all bunched up. What's Raf doing? They got, yeah, there's like four of them just sitting. All trying to come up with a plan. I got guys north covering their push. I see infantry along the tree line still to the east. Gonna keep suppressing, see if we can pick them off. Understood. I think Raf's just holding his position, just Garrett waiting for someone to do something stupid and walk in front of him. If, if he plays his cards right, he's probably gonna have four to five of them walk right in front of him. Way they're bunched up here on the south on the east side. Uh oh, him and Big Rago. <laughs> Oof, that would have been bad. Yeah, it would have. That would have been embarrassing, even out the teams, actually. Though. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's another <laughs> side. All for my one v one. It must happen. Yes, I demand it. Sacrifice yourselves. Well, we got three man team rolling off to the uh south four man and leaving the rest of the russians over here on the eastern side of town oh i think they we saw just them. lost one yep yep oh come on guys you're ruining my chances
Don't pop smoke. Come well, on. They pop smoke. <laughs> ah. I'm Mona is finally moving around. Trying to join up with everybody else. Like Milkman and Beowulf might try to do a slow push up this building. It seems like they're all pinned down by RAF. It's a one man copy. army. Command, do you copy? Hey, for my guy's still up. Luff's in a in a trench. Raft hears him. I think he's gonna Risk. try to do a uh, I don't know a Rambo move. I don't know what he's doing. He needs to cover himself in mud. Oh, they're taking turns they're one at a time. Right they're all they're low ready. crawling through this ditch. <laughs> Will Raft notice though? Uh, I think he's heard. I think he's heard. At least one. Yeah, he de he definitely hears them. He's like, what? Are what, is, what? What? What is going on? Squad one, be advised, enemy infantry are crawling direct west of of my southern fire team. So if oh you yeah, look at our map, they they've been called out. Southern, uh, <laughs> they boat. know they're crawling and, through uh, it. Goes through the field. They're crawling west in line with that. A firm. Big Rago is going to call it's clear. Next guy is going to move up. He's going to lay down in the trench and then start crawling. Oh, except for Dr. Forms didn't get the memo and he's uh, just hiding out in the trees. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, look. Two of them went this time. Three. Four of them in the trench. And they're all going to get oh, out. Nades. Oh, Big Rago goes down to a nade. They've bailed on the on the trench. Yep, they're uh, definitely like uh, no. Got at least a squad strength built to the southeast one. Raf. Oh, oh Raf, no. Around. Raf. Raf, let one Raf. through. Right oh no. Uh oh. Rifts might do it. Four. Yeah, this is a one. This is a one life uh, anti angry. Are they? They're all in with you. I got two. That royal milkman and rifts. Two have made it through. And I'm into the building northeast. And, uh, was that Milkman or Fluffs? One just crossed from. Oh, Milkman's down. We've lost two from the Russians, right, so far? Yep. All right, should be 6v. What? 7? 6v9? Nine, yeah, I got nine U.S. Still got Salty Toast and Abu. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to find somebody to help them. Uh oh, Raf's still alive. I want you to take your fire team and sweep west from your current position and occupy the building to my south from west to east. So you don't need to go out. Sounds like someone else just went down. Yeah, they exchanged yep. some they fire. The building that's your destination. Making the building hey, for my guys to the south of that right now, they're going to be pushing up north to take it out. There's someone Understood. Nine, I'm good. Is it three Russians left? That's it. Got Fluffs, Rifts, and Imonas. Actually, you know what, Kill? It's probably safe for me to on the north side because then I can move to cover you. If I'm behind you, we both get killed by a grenade. Copy. As long as someone's watching. No, I'm still not going to call it. This could be a turnaround. Depends on how well they play it. Now yeah. oh, down goes oh, Amadis. Never mind. No. Down goes Rifts. And down to Fluffs McGruffs. <laughs> There's your 1v a whole team. Oh, I wanted 1v1. Maybe next time. He's gonna go hunting for Raf. And there nope, it is. There he goes. <laughs> and that is it. That's gonna be uh, GG. 
for round two, Operation Cobweb. Wow, that's a, <laughs> it's an interesting end. <laughs> I mean, seeing a lot of people um just kind of sit. But uh, list of events on the calendar, we got an op to be named on Wednesday, April 8th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, make sure you're just continually checking the website and see when those events and SOT basics and SOT, you know, SOT uh, courses pop up. Remember, all times on the website are based on the time zone that your computer or phone are set to. Website is squadops.gg, Discord discord.gg slash squad ops if you haven't already hit that subscribe on youtube and give us a follow on twitch turn on notifications so you know when we're going live for everyone here at squad ops i'm wilbur with killer man thank you for watching and we will see you on wednesday